right, everybody, we're starting up challenge number four for Adobe Premiere, and we're creating our folder on the desktop as we've done before. We're going to go ahead and use challenge three video that we exported. We're going to put that in the folder, and then I'm going to put a new song in there and another picture. All right, and then what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and on Adobe Premiere, we're going to go Control N which is the new sequence. And we're gonna make sure we use our ARRI 1080, and then we're gonna use 1080 23.976. That's the same one we've been using, and this is sequence one. Okay, after we put our sequence in, we're gonna go ahead and make sure that we have our project bin folder ready. We're gonna drag our folder in. Okay, we have our folder here. We're gonna open up our folder and we have all of our items in here. We're gonna drag that onto the playhead, change sequence settings, and we're starting to edit a new video here. All right. What I wanna do here now is I wanna right click on the video and audio and I wanna unlink. I want to delete my video, or my audio, sorry. So now I'm, no audio is on this. I am also have a new picture in here, and I want to put this picture at the very beginning of my video. It's called Fun Times. All right, and then I want to add my sound in. Okay, and now what we're going to do is we're going to start editing this video to go along with the music by using our zoom in feature, okay? So for this picture, which I have on the same level as the video, I need to go to effect controls, all right, in order to edit this video, or in order to make this picture zoom in. All right, so what you're gonna do is you're gonna go to the motion and you're gonna go to scale. All right, so we're gonna do scale. And right up here is where you have your keyframes that you put in. These are called keyframes. And what you do is at the beginning of your keyframe, you have your picture the size you want it to be. All right. And then when you drag across and you put in your next keyframe, you're going to make it even bigger. All right. So now what happens is as you put in your keyframes, the video will actually zoom in. So it's a little more dramatic music I put in there. All right, and then I'm also gonna add here, I'm gonna add a cut, and I'm gonna get some movement in our video as well. So when you go to your video, you could actually, this happens to be where I had a picture in there. So I'm gonna add, I'm gonna go ahead and change that as well. I'm going to scale again, all right. Let me go to this. Okay, so now I'm on my picture here. Effect controls, effects, effects controls right here. All right, and then I'm at the beginning of this clip. I'm gonna go to scale again. And then I'm gonna put the player head all the way at the end. I'm gonna put a Keyframe there, but I need to zoom in first. All right. So I'm zooming in on this one too. Okay, so we'll watch it through again. Okay. <laughs> 
Okay, so we put the movement into the videos here. All right, now what we're going to do is we're going to we're going to fade in and out our music, all right? So we're going to put our playhead all the way at the beginning here. And your music is on this line here. But if you double click it, it'll open up two music lines. All right. And then wherever the playhead is, when you click the keyframe, it'll add a keyframe. So we want to click one in at the beginning, put another keyframe in the middle, and then we'll put another keyframe at the end. All right. You can put as many keyframes as you want. And then it's as simple as dragging in the music or dragging it up and down. And this will give you the fading effect. All right, if you want to be more gradual about it, you can add another keyframe in and adjust it so that it really goes exactly how you want it to. All right. It's getting louder. Gets all the way to the end. And then here it fades out. Okay. So that's how you add in keyframes to adjust your fading in and fading out. Okay, after we get done mixing up our video and fading the music and having some movement in our picture and video using keyframes, we're going to export the video. So we have to make sure we're all the way at the beginning of the video here and you're going to put a in point letter i and then at the end of the video you're going to put a o and that is selected your entire video there and it'll cut off anything after that so we're going to go ahead and hit file export media and this is sequence one underscore three. This is a H 2.64. Okay. And this is where it's going and you export it. All right. After you export your video, you can use this little trick. Go to this PC and where it says search this PC, you could type in sequence. And you'll see sequence zero one underscore three. That's the one we just did. Okay, if you'd click it, 